We're on the board. It looks like a nice one. Look at that, guys. Are you okay? Are you hooked past the barb? I don't know. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and we are currently out here on the lake, and we're about to do some night fishing for some slab crappie. Now, instead of bringing, bringing our conventional gear, you know, our rods and reels, we decided to leave those at home and instead bring this basket here of yo-yos and a bucket of minnows, and we're gonna try our luck at some old-fashioned yo-yo fishing. Now, for those of you who don't know what yo-yos are, let me pull one out of the box real quick and show you what this thing looks like. This is it. This is a staple here in the southern states, and basically what this is is an automatic fish catching device, and it has a couple of moving parts to it. The first off, you have your metal spool, and inside the spool there is a metal coil, and on the inside of the spool it has this little nylon fishing line. And so then attached to the line we have a barrel swivel, a snap, and a crappie fishing hook. Now we will bait that with a minnow, and then we will pull this down to our desired depth. And as you can see right here, we have this little lever. And on the yo-yo spool, there's these notches, and you will just push that lever to the notch, and your bait is set. So then the minnow is freely swimming down below the hook, and when the fish bites it, it pulls the line, and make sure I don't hook myself, and it yanks the fish up out of the water. Not really out of the water, but hooks the fish in the roof of the mouth, and then they fight on the yo-yo pulley system, and it helps you not lose those fish. So we're gonna go around. We have all these scattered cypress trees and water tupelos out here. It's getting lit with about an hour, maybe 45 minutes of daylight left, and we're gonna bait these up with some fresh minnows. We're gonna go to each tree, you know, multiple times throughout the night and see what we can catch. If you love the yo-yo fishing videos, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to baiting. We have all of our yo-yo set up and now all we have to do is wait. So we're gonna go inside for a little bit and then we're gonna come back out here and hopefully we have a bunch of fish on the lines. All right guys, as we were heading in, we got a fish. We're on the board. It looks like a nice one. It looks like a nice one. It's swinging. It's swinging. Woo! Yes. That's a keeper. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. First fish of the night. Is a slab. We're off to a good start. We had a yo-yo go spin. off and we thought that we had one but he got off but that, is our first official fish of the night. Beautiful black crappie. And the sun is just set behind the trees and it's just beautiful out here. Nice one. <laughs> All right, throw them in the bucket. Woohoo! Heck yeah, first of many, hopefully. Guys, we may not be able to get back home. We are getting lit up right now. We got another nice crappie here, don't come off. Oh Woo! yeah! Look at that, guys! Nice. That's bigger than the last. We're trending upward. We're trying to get some mega slabs tonight. Look at that, just barely hooked. No, oh, he ain't, he's hooked good. Hooked good. That is our second crappie of the night on the yo-yo. Man, this is our first yo-yo session of the year and looks like it's gonna be a good night. Get him put him in the bucket, get that rebated, and try to make it back to the house, but we honestly may not ever make it there as fast <laughs> as the action is happening right now. Okay. Look at there, guys. We have got our third crappie on the yo-yo. We have not made it back home yet. <laughs> and that is another slab. Can you reach him, Jay? Yeah. Get him, Jay. Yes, and that is another <laughs> keeper. Yeah. Heck yes, another nice black crappie. Three solid ones in the boat so far. We hung up about 30 yo-yos and we already have had so much turnaround success already. Yeah. That's exciting. It's crazy, we didn't even have to wait. No, we didn't have to wait. <laughs> we got three in the bucket. Good job, Jay. Let's get that one rebated and let's, uh, let's make a little pass through here, I guess, and make sure we don't have any more. This is insane, guys. Literally, while we were getting that fish put in the bucket, this yo-yo went off, and we have another one across the way that went off also. I think this keeper, I think this fish is not a keeper, though. No, I think no. it's gonna be a little short. That guy is a little too small, but hey, we got another bite on the yo-yo. This is awesome. We were not expecting this quick of action tonight. All right, let's send this little guy back once we get the bigger ones. See ya. Well, the one that we heard ended up not being as big as we thought it was. It's just this little guy right here. <laughs> No little black crappie. But he did sound ferocious from afar. Anyways, we're gonna toss him back, get rebaited, and hopefully next time we come to show you, we'll have a two pound slab on it. Guys, look at the size of this minnow. Let me get him on the hook. That's like the best minnow we've baited up so far. <laughs> it's lively too. He's bound to catch a big one. I really like this tree. It's just, this is like a huge cypress tree. It's like the biggest one out here. 
I think that's good. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Okay, this is definitely gonna get bit again. I can feel it. Uh-oh, fellas. Take a look at this one. We got another keeper. I think that's our fourth fish that we've kept tonight. I think we've caught seven total maybe, seven or eight total. We may not have shown you all of them, but there is our fourth keeper. We still have not made it back to the house. I don't think we're gonna make it there. I think we're just gonna ride it out out here because we're just getting lit up and we're actually starting to run out of minnows. Anyways, I need to grab this guy. Come here, big fella. Oh, got you. <laughs> what you guys say about that, Jay? Whoa, that's you a say nice about one. <laughs> is the light bright? Yes, it's very bright. <laughs> nice right. one it looks like a big fish yeah that is a good one i don't think it's as big as our biggest one in there but it's a really nice one okay let's throw him in the box and let's keep scooting around out here the bite is on let's freaking go guys we got another <laughs> good one <laughs> i'm zoomed in really close on your face you can do it you can do it and you also have a leaf on your face that's a, oh, oh. Grab, oh grab him Whoa. oh yes Whoa. yes what a chub yeah that dude's got some thick slabs on him <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm getting poked by this tree. I, yeah, yeah, that's part of your fishing. Heck Ow! yeah. Oh, you okay? Did you get hooked? Are you okay? Are you hooked past the barb? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, you good? I'm good. I heard that thing pop. Are you, are you good? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that fish up. That was almost mega bad. Dang, that is. Gotta a, be careful. That's another nice fish. They're all about the same size. They're all about in that. 11 and a half inch to 12 inch range but that is a good one that's what i'm talking about Woo. i don't know how many we got now i'm starting to lose count i don't know either five but we're seriously guys we were not expecting to run through this many minnows also we only have about 15 minnows left in the bucket and uh, we have about 30 o's out here so you do the math every time we're <laughs> getting bit we're having to replace the minnow so our minnow supply is dwindling yes quickly. we don't have very many left at all so our night might get cut short but we are getting lit up right now by some slabs and some hooks and some hooks <laughs> <laughs> okay hey, good job let's rebate this guy well guys, we're not really sure what happened. We were getting bit pretty much left and right for the first like hour that we were out there. We couldn't even make it back to the house. We were getting bit so much, but we actually kind of started running out of minnows and we were on our last run of yo-yos, baited up with minnows, but they were all baited up. But for some reason, we only had a couple of them go off and we missed. And then we sat up there for like another 30, 45 minutes and none of them went off. We didn't get any more bites and some of the minnows came off and it was very strange because the action was definitely hot and heavy from the start yeah. and we weren't expecting it to get worse we were expecting it to improve actually we thought we were gonna like just waylay them to catch a bunch of crappie tonight but we did get some nice ones show the people the fish Woo. and then we ended up keeping six nice black crappie they're all like like i said like the 11 and a half inch size and we're gonna cook them for you guys we're gonna make some delicious fish sandwiches with them i think so hope you guys are excited for that stay tuned and we will catch you guys tomorrow morning <laughs> All right, we're out here this morning about to get our catch from last night, cleaned up and prepared to be turned into some delicious fish sandwiches, and they are gonna be so good today for lunch. Anyways, we gotta get the fish cut up first, and then we'll show you guys what we are talking about. We got the fish all cleaned up. They look beautiful and they're ready to be cooked in the deep fryer. We got that all heated up as you can see. And we've also pre-made some french fries. These are some seasoned waffle fries we've never had before and literally they taste like an Arby's french fry made a baby with a Chick-fil-A french fry. They are so good, like really good. We're about to batter these guys in the fish mix here in the bag. And today we are using the Louisiana Cajun Crispy Fish Fry. And it's the spicy recipe because it's kind of cold out and we need some spice in our life today. So let's go ahead, let's get a couple of these guys out. That grease is hot and these guys are ready to go in there. Shake our filet off, we'll throw them in the bag real quick. I think I need a bigger bag. Yeah, we have bigger bags. We might have to swap to a bigger bag. <laughs> but for demonstration purposes, this should work. Those look evenly coated. And now we will throw them into the hot grease. And that looks hot. Oh, cuz it is, cuz it is.
All right, we got a bigger bag. We're gonna get some more of these guys going. All right, those look really good. And once we get all this fish cooked, Jay's gonna show you guys how we build the ultimate slubby patty. You're not gonna wanna miss this. It is so delicious. Now that all the fish is cooked, I can't wait any longer to make this amazing fish sandwich, what I like to call a slabby patty. So let's get started. I'm gonna first put my slab, slabby patty on the bun, which I toasted my buns. And now I'm gonna add some Louisiana tartar sauce. This stuff is really good. Along with our, goes along with our fish fry. And I'm going to sprinkle that, or spread that on top. And now I'm going to add some lettuce and tomatoes and you have to have the pickles. And put your top bun on top and voila. Now you can't tell me that that does not look delicious. I cannot wait to eat it. It's going to be so good. Oh yeah, that is so good. This is honestly probably my favorite way to cook and eat fish. It used to be fish tacos, which I still really love, but ever since I started making these sloppy patties, they're number one for me. Well, I think it's safe to say that we are both very pleased with how this catch and cook turned out. We caught some nice slabs last night. We didn't catch as many as I thought we were going to, but we still had good action at the beginning. And we honestly, I guess ran out of minnows. So I guess it is as good of action as you can wish for. <laughs> we're going to have to go back out there and take more minnows and see if we can catch more fish next time. So let us know down in the comment section if you'd like to see us return out there and do some more yo-yo fishing. And if you like these catch and cook videos, give this video a thumbs up. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel so you miss out any of our future fishing adventures. We're, we're calling Jay, Jay and we'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.